But guys, it's Window Cleaning Anthony here. Today I just wanted to hop on. Um, you know, we all know it's winter time. It's kind of the time when you can kind of uh, work on some of the things on the inside of your business. Uh, use a little bit more free time. You know, take care of the sort of things that, you know, come spring and summer you're just not going to have time to do. Um, so one of the things that I set out to do this winter is to really find um, a new software for me that works out and so I've, I've been with a few I've talked about them before on the channel um, I've been with a, a couple different softwares for the business um, and recently what I what I, I went back and was listening to the service industry coaches podcast and he has a, he's got a great podcast going he's been doing it for a little bit um, you might already follow him here on YouTube Matt Smith um, so I was trying to I was doing research on, you know, good CRM for service business, and I, you know, some of them give you free trials, some don't. Um, so I went back and I listened to his podcast, and he said there's basically 10 things that every CRM needs to do. And um, I can't, I'm not going to listen for you right now, but honestly, you should just go listen to the podcast. It's really good. But, you know, basically, you should be able to track your customers, track where they came from. Um, it should have an accounting feature. Um, it should be automated. These are just some of the few things that, that they should be able to do. Um, and realistically, if you're doing residential services, you kind of, you have to have a CRM. Or, I mean, a CRM can be kind of whatever you use, but a, a dedicated CRM really needs to be in place for you to be at, like, full automation. At least as a one-person show. But even further than that, just to stay organized, you need to have something like that. So... I've moved around a lot with what I use, and, and that can be a real pain, but recently, I found the one, I, I'm not, I don't plan on going anywhere with this, because this CRM that I started using is called Market, M-A-R-K-A-T-E, does everything I need, and honestly, way beyond. It does everything and more than what is talked about in Service Industry Coaches podcast about the 10 things needed in a CRM. It hits every single bullet point on the head, and it goes even further with it. <clears throat> the reason I'm making this video is to talk about what I've been doing since yesterday, which is going through, I imported all my contacts from another uh, service I was using, but how do you organize your storefronts in your customer, customer uh, database? So for me, I do storefronts only in the wintertime. Well, I do them all year, but I... That's all I'm doing in the wintertime. In the spring and summer, I'm doing tons of residential. I'm getting people that want quotes. I'm doing sentiment quotes. I have customers that are converting. So how do you keep those separate is kind of the thing. How do you, because sometimes it can, it can kind of be a pain. You need to have them separate because you, you're not going to be doing everything with a storefront that you're going to be doing with a residential customer, if that makes any sense. So. For me, the reason I started doing it was because I started uh, doing postcard automation, which is what is uh, a feature that Market has. Yeah, basically, it's like what, if somebody pays an invoice, or you can set up to whenever you want, but I have it for whenever a residential customer pays an invoice. One day later, Market is going to send out a thank you card, and it's like it's something that we all know that we need to be doing, you know, to be above and beyond the competition and following up on estimates. The reason that I like this is because it, it just takes care of it for you. It doesn't need, you don't even have to touch it. I set this up yesterday for, for residential customers only, and I don't have to touch it again. It'll just charge me per card, like 80 cents per card, um, and I'm done. I Thank you cards, people are going to be blown away by that kind of thing. And I, I'm, I'm hands off. And that's what it's about, really, is, you know, you doing... I mean, you're the owner. You're already doing tons of work. You know what I mean? So it's like one thing that they can, that you know, something can take it off your plate. It's amazing. So I'm just going to show you really quick how you go ahead and make a customer. If it's a storefront or a residential. What's nice is this actually has pretty much every... You know, let me just show you. So get this to load. So when you first start up, you have the contact. You can select whether you're going to be doing a residential. If it's a residential customer or a commercial customer. If it's a storefront, obviously you're going to click commercial. Um, anything else.
else, you know, residential, Luke residential. So you put in their name, their email, and this is nice because if you're on the phone with somebody, this is for a customer, this isn't for an inquiry. This is like somebody that you know is a customer already. So maybe I should show you that instead at an inquiry. So we'll come back to the customer. But so inquiries is like, yeah, Snapchat. So inquiries is like somebody calls you up um, and you're getting all their information. So inquiries, go to add, and it's basically the same thing. It's a contact form. So you can put, you know, residential commercial, the name, phone, email, their address. Um, you can put in more info. So like where they, they found out about you and any notes. So this is huge source is like huge for me because um, you need to track what marketing works for you. You know what I mean? So if, more, if you're getting a lot more inquiries from one place or the other, you know, you know what to up and, and what to cut back on. But that's also going to remind you to ask people. So for customers, you know, you say you're making a customer. They say, and eventually you can convert an inquiry to a customer as well, which is really nice. So you're not having a giant list of people that might or might not schedule with you in the same list. So you, that was a big problem I had was I didn't know who was who, you know, because I had one big list and some of these people just never responded to my estimate and some of them are customers. So that's a really nice thing. It keeps them separate in here until you convert them to a customer. So you go ahead, put on all their information. Now, the reason that I like this for storefronts or even uh, some notifications, notify by email, notify by text. Basically what that means is whenever you schedule something with a customer, be it an appointment or a job, uh, they're gonna get notified of it. You So it's not like you have to hang up with them and go type out a confirmation email. It's gonna send them a pre-written like, confirmation with the, with the date and it'll even remind them um, beforehand their appointment, however long that you want, which is like, huge because I always forgot to do that and people love that crap so another thing it takes off your plate um, service address um, and group group is what I really wanted to touch on for storefronts how we're gonna have storefronts because within your customer database you're gonna have different groups of customers like for us it's gonna be residentials probably storefronts maybe commercial buildings or a couple of groups that you want to have Maybe you have a group of customers that are, you know, networked together or there's a, you have a whole bunch of stores and you want, you know, sometimes you want to just pull up that list of people. Like if you have like 20 Wendy's, you can group them into one group called Wendy's Corporate and then you can go into that group and you can send things to that group. You can exclude that group from certain things. So the group is what I was dealing with yesterday was I was going into all my storefronts and I was putting them into a storefront group so that I can exclude them from thank you cards every time they pay an invoice because I'm there every other week. So group, you can go in. I only have one, storefronts. Um, you, can add, you can add new groups as well. So add a new group. You can be whatever the heck you want. But what I really enjoy about this is it, it keeps it organized and it automates so much for you. It, for me, I found it automates the stuff that I always procrastinated on, like following up uh, with estimates. It'll automatically follow up on estimates, um, sending confirmation emails. That's stuff that like everybody knows you should be doing, but if you don't have like an office person constantly doing it, you're not gonna probably do it if you're busy. You know what I mean? And that's me. I I knew I should be doing it, but I just for whatever reason couldn't bring myself to do it all the time. So, and even another thing it does. Um, with certain customers, you can set it up for um, to automatically ask for a review. So you can set that up when that when it asks for that as well. So like if you finish an invoice or whatever, or when they pay you, it'll automatically send them a link um, asking for a review. And you can type out um, you know the message how you know what you want the the review message to say, what links you want to show up for them. It just does so much that it takes a lot of the work off of you because. There's so many little things that we should be doing to keep in good contact with our customers, but we're just busy and there's so many little things. And this basically, you set it up one time for your customer and like, you're done. You don't have to worry about it. So that's kind of one thing. I meant to just talk about really the groups for storefronts in this video, but I kind of just went off on a tangent. <laughs> so sorry about that, but um, yeah. So the, the, the software is called Market, M-A-R-K-A-T-E. 
it's twenty five dollars a month. I mean, seriously, like it's twenty five bucks a month. It's for all that. I mean, I don't even touch on everything it does as far as estimates and and invoices and everything. Obviously, you can pay invoices online through text with it. It's ridiculous. So I'm gonna probably have to make a couple more videos about this as I use it more through the residential season, but. Yeah, I, I cannot recommend Market enough. This is what I am using. I, I'm fully switched over. I'm done with all that other. I used a lot of other stuff, and I'm just done with it now because this does everything that I need to, and it just takes so much off of my plate. It's just, I'm, yeah. So I'm more than happy with it. I think, especially for, even if you're just doing storefronts or you're just doing residential, you can, you can definitely benefit from, from this app. Alrighty guys, just wanted to share that with you today, and uh, take care, we'll see you soon, have a good one.